Hello friends, welcome to our CamDraw tutorial 1. Let's have a look at some features of CamDraw. So this is uh, this is how a CamDraw looks like. But if you could not find the CamDraw on your desktop after installing CamDraw, you can just in the search box you can uh, write CamDraw and then you will find it. You can just click on it and you can also paste it on your uh, uh, you can also pin to the taskbar and also make a shortcut on the desktop so this is how a camera uh, software a page look looks like you will uh, find a blank blank page and you should also see the main toolbars but if you could not see the main toolbar uh, then you can just go to view here you need to see if the show main tool is checked or not if it's not then you can just if it's gone now you can just click show main tools so they are here you can also find uh, some other toolbars the style toolbar and some other toolbars uh, chemical warnings show chemical warnings show rulers show object toolbar show analysis window uh, that we'll use later on. So let's have a look at the um, uh, these features first. So this is selection uh, that is called marquee selection. That is rectangular selection. Let me show you in another window. Um, so so if you use this marquee tool, then you can select uh, the your uh, compound or whatever is drawn how many part of your uh, structures and your drawing you want to select you can select then uh, this is lasso tool uh, from this lasso tool you can select the structure according to, uh, the area uh, according to your own choice so i'm just selecting this so only this part is selected the other structure is not selected so this is also quite help quite a helpful tool and this is a structure perspective tool where you can uh, if you just click on this tool and I'm just then you can change the orientation of the molecule sometimes you need to change the orientation at that time this tool is quite helpful okay so this is single bonds solid bonds when you need to make uh, any structure you first need the solid bond so i'm just clicking on the blue uh, blue highlighted area and then clicking the solid line so the chain is extended and you can have an option for multiple bonds like double bond and triple bond you can select triple bond and double bond you can um this double bond so double bond is selected you can also have a look at the triple bond so triple bond selected but this is wrong because carbon is making more bonds so triple bond over here um you can also have dashed bond you can use where you want dashed bonds hashed bond uh hashed wedged bond for stereochemistry if you want to make stereoisomer this you can also have bold bond you can also have wedged bold bond i'm just using the wedge bold bond you're using the left mouse button for pasting the bond uh, and then uh, clicking the central for example you can just um, i'm just using the central mouse button for this and then uh, wavy bond sometimes you need a wavy bond when you have racemic mixtures and you need to show a wavy bond you can use it you can draw a table on cam draw you can make a long chain of a long alkyl chain you can just you can just press left button of the mouse and drag it so the number shows 
how many how many uh, chain length you want the numbers show 16 means 16 carbons so for example steric acid is a long chain carboxylic acid you can by using just uh, this tool you can save your time this is cyclopropane ring so you have a number of options for a cyclic rings cyclopropane cyclopentane ring cycloheptane ring uh, cyclohexane ring uh, cyclopentadiene ring, benzene ring, then the other uh, chair form of the cyclopentane, a uh, cyclohexane ring, cyclooctane um, ring, and cyclohexane ring with no chair conformation, just planar. And you can also draw a uh, template. You have a lot of templates. Let's have a look at this. So you can fragment do mass fragmentation by this tool so you, you can just uh, click on the left button and select it and then you can just use the left button and draw a line it will fragment the molecule into two halves uh, uh, into two fragments so if you want to fragment this one you can do it so I'm just using Control Z. If you want to undo the uh, something, you can use Control Z. Control Z. This is eraser. Uh, for example, if you have uh, make a, if you made an error, you can use this uh, eraser. This is the text option. You can write. I'm just writing clicking on the bond here and I'm using this text button to use caps lock and then OH. So we have uh, this so the text text is uh, OH now it's so you can just check the structure if it's bond lengths and all are equal check structure structure is okay okay no errors found and then you can just uh, uh, clean up structure for all the bond lengths and bond angles. The structure is clean up. Now, uh, so this is a pen where you can use draw any line or shape uh, any. This is arrow where you can use the arrow for a reaction. Um, for writing a reaction you have a number of different arrows uh, these are all different types of arrows you can have, have half headed arrows and also double headed arrows for uh, showing you for uh, that is helpful for you uh, for writing the mechanism of the reaction and here you can have options for shapes if you want to draw a shape around a structure for example, if I, I like, if I want to draw this, I click on this and then I will go on like this. So then I can select it and now the shape has been selected over this. So it's quite useful uh, for highlighting your structure. Uh, then you can have after shapes. You can draw spheres, different types of spheres are also here. You can use brackets sometime in polymers you need brackets so uh, reactions of polymers you need brackets or some other uh, reactions so brackets are quite helpful you have every type of brackets then you can have lone pairs radical ketine um, options so it's good and then um, you can also uh, 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 show chiral centers can also draw TLC um, TLC plate on cam draw then you have some other um, templates so these are <sighs> and the number of lanes present TLC plates okay so so this is our TLC plate was quite so this is our TLC plate so the option is when you click on this it asks you how many numbers of TLC plates you want and you can also um, 
Okay. Three. Close it. Now move on to uh, um, templates. So you have a variety of templates, amino acids, aromatics, bicyclics, bio art, clipware part one, um, clipware part two. You have a number of options, conformers. You can just click on the conformer and draw it. Newman projections and all different types of conformers. CP rings for making ferrocene. You can get these CP rings. Uh, cycloalkanes. You can uh, for making crown eaters. That would be helpful. DNA templates if you need the basis of DNA, adenine, guanine, and cytosine and thymine. Functional groups, if you want to add some, any functional group, you can add it directly from here. Hexoses. It is very difficult to draw a sugar molecule on a cam drawer and it takes time. But you can just take any hexose and make your chain. Phenyl rings, you have different perspectives with their different perspective orientation. Uh, polyhedral molecules, they also take time to draw, but it's quite easy in chem draw. RNA templates, you have uh, bases, RNA bases. Stereo centers, you can draw any types of stereo centers, many types. Uh, supramolecular, uh, supramolecules, you can have different types of supramolecules. So, this is all about today. Then we'll